In today's video, we're taking a look at how to replace or change your car's drum brake shoes. Easy and simple. Everything that we use on the video, we're going to leave a link on the description. Let's go ahead and get started. We want to go ahead and place the wheel shocks because the last thing we want in a clear sunny day is to die. Let's go ahead and place our jack under the vehicle, but we're still not going to raise it. If you have a wheel cover, we go ahead and remove that now. We're going to take our nut remover bar and break each nut. And you want to do this with the car on the floor because it will be a lot easier unless you have an impact drill. Now that the nuts are loose, we can go ahead and start jacking up the car. Once up, we can adjust the jack stand and place it under the vehicle. If you need to raise the vehicle a little bit more, go ahead. We can lower the vehicle slowly to our jack stand. Let's go ahead and finish removing the nuts. Go ahead and remove the wheel and for an extra precaution we like to place the wheel under the vehicle in case for any reason the vehicle drops it has something else to avoid it from hitting the floor we can go ahead and remove the drums so we can have access to the brake shoes if you notice they're a little bit stuck you can take a rubber mallet and hit it a couple of times on each corner and this will help them come out a pro tip the most important thing that you want to do before you take anything apart is take a picture of the assembly and having a picture is going to be a great reference point if by any chance you forget where any piece goes. And as you can tell, there's a lot of springs to the assembly and with time where you start will all depend on how you feel or your comfort zone. The first thing that we're going to do, we're going to take our flathead screwdriver and rotate the brake adjuster. This is going to give us space for when we place the new brakes and also untighten the springs just a little bit so we can work a lot better. Let's go ahead and remove the big spring on the middle. And we want to do that using clippers or needle nose pliers. And you want to do that by holding the spring real tight on the ends and pulling against the force. Always being careful when doing it. So that would be pulling to the left or to the right, depending on what side you start. Once we get that one, we can go ahead and work on the one on the bottom of it. Now we can go to the top and remove the top spring. You are going to notice that that one is going to remove all the tension from the actual brake drum shoe, but it's still not going to come off. We need to remove the shoe holding spring. And those are the two circular springs located on the left and the right side. For this one, you're going to need some pliers. And what you would do is hold the spring and push down. Meanwhile, you twist the spring so it could match the lines and it could pop off. We can go ahead and do the other side as well. Now we can go ahead and remove those two little nails. Another pro tip, having all your pieces in one spot is going to make it easier for you to work with. Now, finally, we're going to go ahead and remove the spring that holds the adjusting lever. And this one, you only just pull up and that should let go of the hold. That should have all your pieces crumble like a pie. As you can see, these brake pads, you can already see the metal and the holes under the shoe. Remember, your brakes might look different, but in the end, it's the same technique and method. We want to inspect the old brake shoe pads and verify for any parts connected to them so we can place them on the new one. In this case, we have a swivel mechanism that is held by a washer that we're going to go ahead and remove with a flathead screwdriver pushing outward. Once we have it out, we're going to use the needle nose pliers to place them back on the new ones. And we do that by matching the new brake shoes with the old one. 
so we can make sure we're placing it on the correct one. Now we're ready to put everything back and we're gonna do everything backwards now. This is the time where you take your picture out. We're gonna go ahead and assemble everything back on the ground before we go ahead and place it. So like that, we know where every piece goes and that we're not missing any pieces. And this is a great way to inspect that nothing is broken. This is a great reference point in case you need to go back and see where a piece goes. But remember, you are the boss of your hoopty. If you feel confident you can tackle it right away, you can do so. Sometimes putting the spring back, you're going to require strength. To make it easier, we're just gonna leave the top portion and taking off the springs from the bottom. Like that, we would have space to move it around and place it on the wheel cylinder. If you wanna place it one by one, you can also do so. Remember, it's just the same method like we did before. But like this, you're gonna gain a lot of time. If you notice your brake drum needs cleaning, this is the time to apply brake cleaning. And you could go ahead and spray it everywhere. Placing the first brake shoe, we're gonna notice that there is a metal bar with a little hole at the bottom. We want to align that with the brake shoe and make sure that the holes align perfectly. We're going to place the bottom bar then we're going to start putting the springs at the bottom. And then finally, our circular springs that hold the brake drum shoe together.
Now, you can go ahead and place your drum back. If you notice it's still tight and not going in, then you're gonna have to take your flathead screwdriver and click on the adjuster a couple of more times until the drum fits. Remember that having new brake shoes, it's gonna need more space. Now you're half a boss. Now the only thing you have to do is the other side. Don't forget, if you liked the video, please give us a thumbs up. That really helps. If you have any questions, place them in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe, follow us on social media. Thank you for watching. And here's a link to our latest video.